hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to basically sleep and pause inside your node.js application so basically guys uh, uh, we will be doing this using the set timeout function so basically inside uh, any sort of programming language or any sort of application in many situations you need to pause in between uh, executing two lines of code so we will be doing the same thing here so let's suppose we define some kind of a so this is our index.js this is node.js application so here let's suppose i define one function here which will print hello world on the console so here i will simply say console log hello world so it will simply print out hello world on the console so this is one function and let me just declare another function here which will actually print out a different statement here let's suppose i am express app so it will now print out this statements express app so this is two functions we have declared right now which is hello world and express app so basically what i need to do is that i need to put some kind of a delay here so let's suppose the first function executes then after we need to wait for let's suppose five seconds and then we need to execute the second function so we need to sleep so in order to do the sleep guys the very first way by which we can do that is using set timeout function you have probably known this function which is available inside javascript it's a built-in function to make some kind of a delay or sleep functionality so first of all what i will do is that i will call this function hello world so as i call this function you will now see basically this hello world will be printed out on the console and now the next thing we need to do is that we need to call this function which is express app so as i call this function now i have haven't put any sort of delay here so if you just execute this you will see that hello world and express app is running basically it will be printed out instantly without having any sort of delay so we need to wait let's suppose five seconds after hello world and then only we need to uh, display this express app so in between this we need to uh, wait for five seconds so here we can write a simple line of code here so we can wrap this uh, express app call here inside the set timeout function so this is the actual function guys set timeout and basically here you need to provide the code so i can call this function which is express app this is a function name and then put a comma here and then basically it takes the time inside milliseconds so as you all know one second is equal to thousand milliseconds so now to wait five seconds we need to put here five thousand milliseconds so as you just uh, run this now guys basically what will happen let me just run this application node index.js so as you will see guys hello world is printed out and it is waiting five seconds and after that it will print out express app is running so this is a very simple approach that you can follow set timeout function you can use in order to get a delay or <coughs> sleep inside your node.js application this can this code can be anything <coughs> we can just write this code right here itself we can put a callback function and write this code here this is the code after delay you can also write like this if you don't want to call the external function you can just write a arrow function here and if you just now do here hello world is printed out and after that it is waiting five seconds so now you can see this is a code after delay so you can see that you can also write like this totally up to you which scenario you want to use so <coughs> after this guys uh, this is the time that is required for the delay so this is the very first approach guys that you can follow set timeout it's a very simple method you don't need to install any sort of third party library you can just use like this and uh, now let's suppose guys we are just uh, writing the code as it is we are not writing inside the function so let's suppose this is the first line this is the first line and after that we need to put some kind of a <laughs> delay so this is the second line so in between these two lines guys we need to put some kind of delay here so what i can do is that so i can simply say set timeout and this will be simply an empty function and here we can just 
5000 put 5000 here and basically if you run now run this uh, okay okay we need to just uh, surround this line guys inside set timeout like this so basically whatever code that you need to execute you need to put inside the set timeout method and again if you wish to execute that this, this is a third line so basically what will happen now if you now execute this application what will happen the f this is a first line will be printed out and this is a third line will be printed out but in order to print this line five seconds delay will be there so let me execute this application node index.js so what will happen the, these two lines will be printed out instantly and then it will wait five seconds and then it will print this line this is the second line so whatever code that you want to execute after a delay you put this inside your set timeout function and then you need to provide the amount of milliseconds of delay so this is 5000 milliseconds so this is equal to five seconds there are many various approaches approaches guys you can uh, basically make a thing uh, simple uh, method of delay this is a custom method we are writing so we will be expecting <laughs> the milliseconds we passed here and basically in order to make this function we will get the current date by date dot now and we will declare a current date variable which will be null by default and here why we will be using do while loop guys as you all know do while loop inside programming and here we will keep executing it till current date minus date that we calculated this needs to be date not data this is date we have the current date here is less than the past milliseconds that's it so inside this we just need to make uh, current date is equal to date dot now like this so this is our delay function guys so now we simply need to call this function so we will put a statement here of uh, this is the first line and now what we, uh, we need to put a delay here so we will call this function delay and pass the milliseconds 5000 and after this we will simply say this is the second line so what will happen now guys basically it will call this function it will pass 5000 to it and uh, this is the first line it will wait for five seconds and then it will print out this is the second line so in this way guys you can put a delay function like this and uh, for this guys you can even use the uh, promises as well so if you want to basically use promises we can declare a function of delay put time as an argument and return from here return a new promise like this and we can resolve this this will be arrow function and here we can simply use set timeout once again and basically we can resolve this like this so that's it guys so basically we also need to put here time as well so you can see that so this is the it is returning and promise here guys so basically we have this async function which will say print sentence this code can be anything totally depends upon you if you are if you are using async await then it's very much useful so our first statement will be hello world after this we need to put a delay so we will call this function which is this delay so we are using await keyword here because this is the async function await delay and here we will passing 5000 and then it will wait for 5 seconds and then it will print out will be printed after 5 seconds so now we simply need to call this function guys so we can simply say print sentence so many a times you are working with async await in node.js so this approach will be very much useful so if you now execute this application hello world and after that it will wait for five seconds and then it will say it will be printed after five seconds so this is an async promise approach async await and uh, if none of the approaches work guys we have external module which is sleep promise so you can execute this module install this module sleep promise so this makes it very much easy to basically do that we can execute this module you can require this module which is uh, sleep promise <coughs> and in the next line basically we can call this as a immediately invoke function and inside this guys we can simply say console log hello world and we can uh, sleep for let's suppose five five thousand milliseconds like this this is also doing the same thing previously but uh, 
we are using an external module for this so inside package.json you will now see we are using an external module so it's a very minimalistic module so now if you execute the application this will be sorry we need to execute the application hello world after that it will wait for 5 seconds and then it will say will be printed after 5 seconds you will see so this these are three approaches guys i wanted to show you how you can basically pause in between the programs in between the node.js program if you want to anytime you do want to do this you can follow these four, three four approaches please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well if you want to see like these videos as well so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video